You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. A sweet and sour day. Caillou was on his way to Grandma and Grandpa's house, and he was very eager to get there. Hello, Caillou! Huh? Hi, Grandma! Hi, we're here! Look at my new truck! Isn't that nice? I'll be back in a little while to pick you up. Have fun! Bye-bye! I'm doing some work in the garden. Would you like to help me? I think these flowers could use a drink. I can water them. Thank you. Ooh -hoo. <laughs> Caillou liked helping Grandma. It made him feel like a big boy. Pretended he was driving a big water truck. Looks like you need a drink. to use the bird bath. Why didn't he want to take a bath? I think I know why. There's no water. Can I put some water in? There's no water left. You can fill it up at the faucet over there. was afraid he had broken the faucet, and he didn't know what to do. Grandma, help! <gasps> oh, dear. I haven't gotten around to fixing that. It falls off all the time. <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> Caillou was determined to carry the water all by himself. You. Now, how about we head inside for a snack and dry those feet off? I can't find the juice, Grandma. 
Oh dear, looks like we're out. Why don't we make our own juice? Caillou was very curious. He had never made juice before. Grapefruit and lemons, perfect. <gasps> They're cold. Can we use oranges too? Absolutely. First, I'll cut the fruit in half. One, two lemons. One, two oranges. And one, two grapefruits. Thank you, my assistant. <laughs> it's easy to remember what color oranges are because oranges are orange. <laughs> That's right. Mmm, yummy. I like orange juice. Ew. Grapefruit juice isn't as sweet as orange juice, is it? Nope. Now you're making lemonade. I love lemonade. Ew. It doesn't taste very good. It's really sour, isn't it? It's not ready to drink until we put in the secret ingredient. Then it'll be delicious. Here, why don't you try making some juice? Caillou and Grandma worked very hard and squeezed juice out of all the fruit. I'm finished, Grandma. Good job, Caillou. Now it's time for the final secret ingredient. What is it? Here, close your eyes. Can you guess what it is? Caillou was worried that it would taste sour, like the lemon juice did. Mmm, it's sugar. That's right. We can make the sour juice sweet by adding just a little sugar. Do you want to put it in? Now give it a stir. Hello, I'm back. Surprise! I made juice with Grandma. Want some? Oh, yes, please. Caillou was a big help in the garden. He watered all my flowers and filled the bird bath. You've certainly been busy. Mmm, this tastes great. It's made with orange juice, grapefruit juice, lemon juice, and a secret ingredient, sugar. Close your eyes, I have another surprise. Okay, you can look now. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's Puppet Show. One morning at play school, Caillou and his friends were having fun doing crafts. Caillou was making a finger puppet, but he wasn't the only one with that idea. Hi, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, Jason. <laughs> Like your puppet. The spots were by accident. Jeffrey kept bumping me while I was drawing the face. It has spots, like a cow. Yeah, it's a cow puppet. Moo! You can be the cow, and I'll be the farmer. Come on, Mr. Cow. It's bedtime. Time to go in the barn. Can I play, too? We're playing farm. You can be a cow, too. No, I'm gonna be a chicken. Buck, 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 buck. Would you like some food, Mr. Chicken? Buck, 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 buck. What wonderful puppets. You should put on a puppet show for everybody tomorrow. Yeah! yeah. And you can use the puppet theater. Wow! Let's do it right now! <laughs> hmm. It's time to go home right now. You can do it tomorrow. I'm gonna show Rosie my puppet! Wait, Caillou! Rosie isn't feeling very well. Hi, Rosie. Rosie? Are you feeling sick, Rosie? Rosie! 
Rosie sick. <coughs> Rosie's sick with the flu. The flu? No, the flu. It's short for influenza. She's got to stay in bed for a few days, but she'll be better soon. <laughs> Here you go, sweetie. Poor Rosie's got a fever. Sometimes when you're sick, you feel hot. That's called a fever. <coughs> You'll have to stay out of Rosie's room until she's well again, or you might catch the flu too, all right? Okay, Mommy. Caillou felt sorry for Rosie. He didn't want to get sick, too, so he stayed out of her room for the rest of the day. The next morning, Caillou woke up feeling kind of funny. He felt achy. <coughs> Caillou felt hot and was coughing. And he knew what that meant. He had the flu. <coughs> Just like Rosie. Caillou knew Mommy would make him stay home from play school if she found out he was sick. And today was the puppet show day. He didn't want to miss the puppet show. Caillou had to make sure Mommy didn't know he had the flu. Good morning, Caillou. How are you today? Good. I feel good. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Feels like a fever to me. You'd better go back to bed, sweetie. You've got the flu. But I have to go to play school. We're having a puppet show. If you go to play school with the flu, you'll make all your friends sick, too. And you don't want that, do you? No. Now, go up to your room and I'll bring you some juice. Caillou stayed in bed all morning. He wondered what his friends were doing at play school today. They were probably having more fun than he was. Caillou sick? Yup. Want to see a puppet show, Rosie? Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> This is Farmer Caillou, and he lives on a farm with lots of animals. I think you should take a look out your window, Caillou. <laughs> wow! Your friends all want you to get well soon. Hi! And Jason and Jeffrey still want to put on that puppet show. Caillou was confused. How could they have their puppet show when he was sick? So Caillou and the twins had their puppet show just as they had planned, even though Caillou was sick. Happy day! It's a happy day! It's a happy day! 
happy day. It's a happy day. It's a happy day. It's a happy day. I feel okay, and it's, it's a happy day. But there are times we don't feel our best when we all just need a little rest. And with some help, before you know, we'll be back on our feet and ready to go. It's a happy day. 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 I feel okay. And it's, it's a happy day. day. And if you have to stay inside, there's so much to do. You decide. You can put on a puppet show. Use your imagination. Let's go. It's a happy day. 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 I feel okay. And it's, it's a happy day. Caillou's Collection. Caillou and his family were on a picnic in the park. Caillou was having great fun playing in a stream when he spotted something very special. Wow! Treasure! More treasure! Come on, Caillou. Time to go home. Caillou didn't want to leave his newfound treasure behind. Let's go, Caillou. My pockets aren't big enough. Caillou thought of a perfect way to get all his stones back home. Oof. This basket seems a lot heavier than when we left. Oh, that's because I put all my stones in there. Well, that explains it. That one's the shiniest. I think it's pirate's treasure. Shiny rock! I think it's bath time for you, sweetie. We'll make you clean and shiny, too. <laughs> Caillou, you're up next, okay? Okay. That's quite a collection you've got there. A collection? Uh-huh. A collection is when you gather a whole bunch of interesting, similar things and organize them, like my stamp collection. I don't think the kitchen table is the right place for your collection, Caillou. You'd better find somewhere else to put your rocks. So Caillou gathered up his rocks and went to find the perfect place for his collection. Good night, sweetie. What's this? You've got rocks under your pillow. Daddy told me to find a good place for my rock collection. <laughs> I don't think your bed is such a good place for your rocks. Can you think of somewhere else to put them? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. All done! Good. Now you can help me change the sheets on your bed. <laughs> the white ones go here, and the black ones go here. Hello, all. The next day, they had a surprise visitor. Hi, Grandpa. Have a rock collection. Well, look at that. Very impressive. I've got lots of rocks too in my yard. Only they're really big. Really? You bet. I'm making a path with them, but I have to go out and get some more. I could use a rock expert like you. Would you like to come along? Mm hmm. Grandpa took Caillou to a quarry, a place where big people go to find big rocks. Wow! Red rocks! White rocks! <gasps> Invisible rocks! Wow! This 
rock is bigger than I am. It sure is. And look over there. <gasps> this must be the biggest rocks in the world. Would you like to see how they break big rocks into small ones? Yeah. Caillou was very excited to watch the man breaking up rocks. He imagined what it would be like to do that himself. Like to pick one out for your collection? Yes, please. This is my most favorite rock ever. Because it's brand new? Nope, because it's smiling. Look. My goodness, so it is. Oh, well, you have a talent for spotting special rocks, Caillou. Caillou had such a fun time today with Grandpa that he wanted to thank him. You can have it, Grandpa. It's a present. Well, thank you. I'm going to add this to my rock garden. <laughs> Grandpa, rocks don't grow in gardens. Oh, no? Come on, I'll show you. This is a rock garden. Now, rocks don't grow in it, but it does look nice, don't you think? Perfect. Then Caillou had a great idea about what he should do with his rock collection. Look! Grandpa and I made a path! <gasps> Very nice! Such lovely stones! But that's not all! Come on! See? We made a rock garden! Wow, it's great. One of the nicest I've ever seen. Thanks, Rosie. Now my rock garden will grow big and strong. Doo -doo. 